In this topic, we can learn about how can we navigate in the work area in Nexer. There are various ways you can navigate in the work area in Nexer. One of the easiest ways to using the mouse, so you can just go like this, any of the cells and click on it and it gets selected. And if you want to move to the right of these columns, then you can use this scroll bar, as we discussed in our previous topic. At the same time, if you want to navigate the respective rows, you can see the right side vertical scroll bar. And also for navigating or selecting the cell, you can use the keyboard shortcut like right arrow, left arrow, down arrow and up arrow. Okay. In case if you quickly want to move around the work area, there are certain keyboard shortcuts that you can use. For example, I'm in the A1 cell, right? If I simply click on the page down, the cursor is navigate to A22, which means that skips rest of 20 rows, right? And if I hit again the page down, the cursor is moving to A43. And it would again skip another 20 rows and bring me to row number A43. And this could be one quick way to move down these rows. I'm just going back to A1 and in case if you want to go up again and similar way you can press the opposite button like page up see A22 again I'm clicking on it A1 right similarly if you want to move to the right of these columns just click on alt key page down see it moved from A1 to T1 if I click again T1 to AM1 right similarly if I want to move to the left I can use the alt page up as well so this is a very quick way to move around the Excel using the keyboard shortcuts. And I'm just adding two more worksheets here. So in case, if you want to navigate through the worksheet again, one of the easiest ways to use your mouse and you can select the worksheet whenever you want to go. For example, I'm just going to go to sheet one AM2, sheet two I1. See, I just selected manually by using the mouse, right? Same way, I'm just going to sheet three, see, okay? Also, you want to navigate from sheet to sheet. You can use the keyboard shortcut key like control page up and page down like this. You can move around within the sheet, right? In single view like this, if you want to check the data in column X, Y, Z, you can use this zoom in and zoom out like this. And also, if you have a mouse with a wheel on it, then you can use that wheel while the control key is pressed so that it will zoom in and zoom out just like this, see? Just keep pressing the control key in your keyboard and just scroll down the wheel on your mouse like this. Okay, just make it center only. And another way you can navigate in the worksheet is showing the name box. So for example, if you want to move to the cell C5 and then you can simply type that address here and just press enter. For, for example, just giving the cell address as C5 and enter it. See, it's automatically gets selected here. And again, L1. And right, see, it's go to L1, right? So these are the number of ways you can navigate the Excel file based on your data. Hope you all of you clear this topic and let's move to the next lesson.